So today we actually have a one topic video. I know it's a little crazy trying to get a little focused over here. Get a little focused. Gonna have some anthem news for you. Everything you need to know as far as the beta goes. Or if I'm not telling it to you, I'm gonna tell you where to find it in the description down below. Uh, Hello all you true takers of the internet. I am Michael, this is True Take, where we try to touch your gaming funny bone in all the best ways possible. What? What's that? Can I not say gaming funny bone? J J S W. Is that 2 SJW? Whatever. It is? Well, we can't get any more unmonetized at the moment, so we do what we want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anywho, who's fired up today? I don't even know. I am, because we got the anthem. Obviously, we are giving you the true take, so we're gonna look at the good, we're gonna look at the bad, and we're gonna look at the ugly whenever I do play the demo, and you'll have my impressions, of course. And you know what? I'm getting my webcam, so hopefully I can get that all set up for you guys and do a little streaming. It's gonna happen. So, needless to say, I am very easily controlling my emotions about Anthem. Mm -hmm. Here's what you need to know as far as what you're gonna get in that demo this weekend or what you can expect from a stream courtesy of Anthem the Game subreddit. Give them a shout out, take a look at it. I'm just summarizing here. Numero uno, you will start at level 10. You can progress all the way to level 15. You begin somewhere in the story around uh, after the first part, which is where I kind of played a little bit of in the alpha, but this is gonna be a little bit further down the line in the story mode. Not sure how much, they really haven't specified to my knowledge. You will start off uh, with the ranger type javelin, which the javelins are the type of mech suit that you're gonna be using, the Iron Man mech suit. That's just what they call it in the game. You're gonna be starting off with the ranger. It's the most balanced, certain little upgrades. You can do crit damage and it's got a balanced kit, grenades, missiles, all sorts of good stuff as far as that goes. It's the one I played in the alpha in December. Later on at uh, another level, they're gonna allow you to open up another javelin, which is unspecified. Specified. You may get to pick it. You, it may be picked for you. I am not sure about that right at the moment. Surprises are always good. That's the thing I'm most excited about, though, because I haven't gotten to play any of the other javelins, and I'm looking forward to the storm and the interceptor and the colossus as well, because the colossus is the big hulking one. It's got a big shield. You've got all these rockets and a flamethrower and mortars, and then the storm has like electricity far away, electricity power when you're hovering, you got this shield surrounding you, protecting you, ting, 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 ba, ting, ting. And then the interceptor has the melee weapons, it's ultimate, you can do this unstoppable melee combo where you're invincible while you're doing it, and it's the most mobile one where you fly around, you're very fast. I am just excited to play any of the other ones other than the ranger, I think my main will probably not be the ranger. So. I am, uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited about that snizzy. In the full game on release, you will be able to unlock all four of the javelins. You start off with one, and then you unlock them intermittently until you get to level 24. Some incentive to build up those other javelins, to really try to pick out the one that you want. I'll leave a link in the description below of the Reddit post where it has kind of a couple of different videos on there describing the different javelins, if you're curious. During the demo, we're gonna be playing at least a story mission, as well as a stronghold mission, which are a little bit more elaborate, a little bit longer. They really need about four people playing. They're gonna do a matchmaking if you aren't playing with friends. And you will have access to Fort Tarsus where you can upgrade your equipment, you can buy new equipment you can do the forge if you're forging things eventually it's also going to have a social hub which is my next point one of the most promising aspects of anthem isn't even the game but rather how the developers at bioware are apparently listening to the community already unlike so many other big triple a games or how i like to call them triple b i'm so original <laughs> I make myself a chuckle. Like Bungie, Bethesda, and Blizzard, who really only listen to the community whenever something's going super awry, whenever all the crap is breaking loose, there's some game-breaking glitch, there's some game-breaking exploit, there's something going on that's ruining their game, and then they listen to the community, and then they fix it, which is most likely in a way that doesn't even actually help the community in some cases. 
It's just gonna make the game harder and more grindy. These guys over Bioware, they're listening to the community because the community is saying, hey, why are there only four people that are allowed in the Fort Tarsus area since there's only a max of four people that you can go on a mission with. Why not? Why can't we do something like that? In Destiny 1, even, they had a social as well and as in Destiny 2, although it wasn't as, I didn't see as many people populating the Destiny 2 social space and wanting to team up and stuff like that. I'm sure it probably still happened. It's really cool to just, you know, meet new people all like-minded you're not having to get on you know a different subreddit or discord just to find other people to play with if let's say your buds leave you high and dry it's never happened to me never had this is pretty promising though because the social space can be a fun place uh this one will be up to 16 people they're so active with their developer streams they're very open and honest about the game and this is really key. I think they knew they had to do this, seeing as that there's been such bad press on their publisher, EA, who I've already mentioned earlier, is the nicest, they're the greatest, consumer friendly, they don't do loot boxes. I'm sorry, don't strike me dead. Now, we always gotta just hold this at a distance. We always gotta be a little skeptical, you know? Don't go and just hop on this train right away. I know it sounds like I'm being uber, uber happy and gushy and overflowy, and it is it's really exciting to see this kind of stuff. But, gosh, we've been burnt so much in the past with developers just shutting things down, and they know what to expect as far as what players expect, the amount of content players expect. That's the biggest thing too, is will there be enough content? I remember loving The Division, but after the first month, it was clearly broken. The end game was non-existent. The dark zone was just nothing. It was useless. It was not even fun at all. Now they kept working on it. It was awesome after about three years, I heard. I never hopped back on though. It didn't grab me enough. I digress. Last point, there will be free play. So they've got this whole open area, much like Destiny again, but this one's pretty cool because yes, you can fly, so it's gonna have a lot more verticality going up and down and such. It's gonna be something else to take a look at. How much fun stuff is there to do? Is it even fun to grind for loot there? Ultimately, will it feel open and will it feel awesome? Or will it just suck the life out of me? Look, this thing looks awesome. No, it's not. It's just a barren wasteland. Again, I want to thank all those folks at the Anthem, the game subreddit, providing all that juicy, juicy info. So, demo is right upon us. Are you all excited about it? Or are you just tired of me rambling and have already started up another season of Game of Thrones uh, for the third time? You sick freaks. That's all we have for you today. True take, Hayduken, out. Codes is out. We do what we want. <sighs> there is an alarm somewhere.